Hi everyone and welcome to Fashion Design Success Mentoring Class and today what we're going to do is actually another illustrator um, tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to actually draw a little bit more in Illustrator and draw your um, trade drawings as well as your designs. So here we have a picture of a dress. Now this is a dress that I've drawn before. Um, what I'm going to give you is a whole lot of templates of shapes that I have drawn before and when you actually start building a library it's really easy and uh, quick to actually pull up an old template and modify it to create something new. So this is an old template so um, here on the page you'll actually see some more um, pic uh, pictures that you can download. So just to show you um, there's also fabric here we go so dresses there's a whole lot of dresses bow tie dress lace dress pleat front dress um, so just play around with it and you can start to create your own templates um, I also have a whole lot of fabric swatches so you'll see like a denim swatch some checkered swatch um, florals all of that kind of thing and what I'm going to show you how to do is how to import a fabric into your design so back to our little drawing <coughs> So I've zoomed in, you can see that nice and clear. So this was a bubble dress out of stretched jersey, but what we can do is actually turn it into a strapless summer dress, for example. So the first thing we're gonna do is get a little black pointer tool and at the moment the whole object is grouped together. So what we wanna do is hold the control key down um, and select ungroup. So now, should see it's letting me select each, ob each object individually. Now what you see these little grey spots was actually my attempt to um, draw a slub jersey, a stretch jersey but uh, we're actually going to do a little cotton dress so what we want to do if you press the control key again and go to release clipping mask and what that was was my fabric sample clipped into the shape so we can delete that. So hold, select the um, shape first, then hold down the control key, release clipping mask, delete. And actually we're gonna delete those straps. And we're going to delete these pockets as well. So you can even pull up like a design that you like the pockets of. Now if you do a mistake like I just did, I accidentally deleted my shape. You just go um, Command Z or Control Z if you're on a PC and it goes back a step. So always remember that if you do Boo Boo's Control Z or Command Z if you're on an Apple. So we delete these. Now I don't want a base, so there we go. Excellent. Now what we're going to do <clears throat> is select this skirt So I just selected the little white pointer tool here and what we're going to do is just play with the skirt line a little bit. And now see these little handles, they're called handles, so we've got the node um, which is a little white dot and then there's handles off each one which is allowing me to actually 
alter the silhouette. So we're going to make this dress a little bit more floaty. Now you can see that I've got a node here on the right hand side but there's no matching one there. So what I'm going to do is create one. So you go to the pen tool here and we've just added one. Now go back to the white um, pointer tool. We want to select this. Now what you can also do is um, up here on the top it's actually saying the anchor point so that's our little node. Um, it's also called an anchor point and it can actually say do you want to turn your node into a corner like a sharp corner or do you want to have it like smooth so you can press smooth and see how that just changed that point from being quite sharp to being quite smooth now. So we're creating a little floaty dress. Now what I will also do is now draw in go to the pen tool. So the pencil tool and I draw in just to show to the manufacturer it has some, I guess, flounce to it or fullness to the skirt. Now we're going to delete these buttons and we'll draw in a little bit more gathers around the bust and what else will we do? <clears throat> Maybe you want to create, I'm just I'm making this as we go along here. Another seam. Now you could have this um, in a contrast fabric if you wanted to, you could do uh, more beading if you wanted to. So for example, um, so this tool, one, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one down, see this little uh, pointer tool here? You can actually choose what kind of shape if you hold it down, rectangle, rounded, rectangle, eclipse, polygon, star. So if I wanted to, I've gone round. I could create, for example, some beading. Quite random, so you can zoom in. Now the thing to remember um, when you're manufacturing something like beading, that needs to be done by hand. So what I'm doing right now is creating a whole lot of uh, things that need to be hand sewn. So this is always good. You can you can design something from concept and at the time, you know, I'm thinking, oh yeah, this whole panel would look great beaded the whole way through. Um, but when it goes to manufacture, you might like to simplify it a little bit. Um, so do a little bit less beading, but still get the same overall effect. Um, so sometimes your designs, like quite often my designs can go through six different um, refining before they're kind of done. So I'll start with the concept and go, yeah, I really love that. And then, you know, it gets fine tuned from there. Okay, that's enough to give you an idea. <clears throat> so this panel here, we can do some top stitching. So we can get the pen tool and we'll start here.
You could even make this piping, maybe put it in some lurex. Now, remember from the last lesson, what we're going to do is go over to a stroke. We want a dashed line. Um, we'll probably do a three point. So change that to three, maybe even less one. That's better. And the weight of the stroke. So we want to make that a little bit finer because it's a little bit thick at the moment. So we've just gone a quarter of a point. And you can see how it's like got this white bit here. See how you could, um, it's trying to fill the object. And if you go to this bottom of the toolbar, you can see it's selecting white for the fill. We want no fill. So we click no fill here. And now that's a lot nicer. So we'll just draw the top stitching. And there we go, we've got a bit more of a flout. So I could probably improve this hemline a little bit more. See, once I actually drew in the flounces, I'm designing like a little cocktail dress or bridesmaid dress, I guess, formal dress. Actually, up here needs to be improved. So if we go to the white pointer tool just to select the node, just make this a little bit more even. Sometimes um, the manufacturers, if they're not English speaking, they take all of this for for granted. So if your line is uneven, they actually think that you mean a wonky top stitch that's not even. <laughs> Um, so that's why draw your drawings are so important that you get it as accurate uh, to real life as possible. Okay. So let's go to, might add a few more nodes in here. So what I'm doing is just adding a few extra points and then we go to the white pointer tool like this and we'll just put a few more points in here And see how you can go to the top anchor point and make this smooth. So I've just created that to be smooth. Same up here again. Okay, now that kind of looks a little bit more like it's floatier and can swirl around and it'll actually um, float out a little bit more. Now I actually really love this beading design so I want to put it on the bust again. So we're just going to draw, so as you sort of go along, sometimes I just draw in Illustrator and just let things flow to me, the ideas. Sometimes you look at it and go, oh, I just need something more. 